Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 19th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday, boy, what, a, what an exciting day that was, where we just <laughs> chopped around and uh, bounced up and bounced down and really went nowhere the whole day in with very light volume. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. You know, yesterday was just one of those days where you think, man, I should just shut my computer off and go do something else that's a bit more productive than watching it chop around. And unfortunately, they could be another one of those days as we wait for the Fed um, decision Wednesday afternoon. If we take a look at what happened yesterday, and I'm gonna remove all of these lines, you can see just a little spinning top doji in here. Um, we did um, eventually break the Friday low and then chopped right back up to close right about at the Friday low. But unfortunately, nothing really changed here um, in the market yesterday. As you can see, um, we're still trying to hang on to this upside trend here, just, uh, just clinging to it as much as we can in the diamonds. Unfortunately, we're still bound by the downside trend and it's just remarkable um how we are winding this up you, you know how long i've had these lines on this chart we just continue to wind up in this area we're going to make it to the point of this i believe um if we're not careful um watching carefully here we need to see something to break us out of these price levels either up or down and so far the market has not found any inspiration to do that. Now, if there's some good news here in the chart, we did hold this price support yesterday. We bounced down through it just a little bit, bounced back up at the end of the day. So no harm, no foul there, but really nothing um, to get too excited about on the day. So let's take a look. If the bulls were to get inspiration today, and you can see they're trying to pump up in the pre-market here again. It just, it's like uh, institutions have decided that we're always going to pump at the pre-market. So we're pumping up here just a little bit. So if those bulls can find inspiration, well, first step is let's see if we can pop up through yesterday's high. And then if we can pop up through yesterday's high, maybe we can break up into this downtrend channel here to see if we can uh, pop through there. If they can get through that, well, maybe we test that top of that big black candle, see if we can recover that one. And then of course, beyond that, we're looking at breaking that wedge to the upside and see whether or not we can pop through, through um, to that high of last week so um, wild and crazy here we're just not finding uh, much inspiration or energy and unfortunately i don't think that's going to change much today if we look to the bearish side if the bears were to find something to grab a hold of well first off a retest of yesterday's low would be um, someplace you'd want to uh, maybe take a look at and then if that were to uh, fail through there then I'm thinking down into this area of the chart is the next likely place to go and you can see some of those levels down in here that we cut this low and a little bit of lows in here so somewhere in that range would be the next level in the chart. Um, it is um, a good idea to remember that we're still well below our 50-day moving average here. Um, we've got a lot of work to do just to get back up above that um, level as well. If we take a look at our SPY, 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 a little bit better yesterday. We had big tech trying to get a few things going early on in the day. We ended up 
uh, coming up. So we had just a little tiny gain on the day, 78 cent gain on the day. And we did hold this price support, as you can see. So that is um, a good sign or holding on to that price support. But obviously it was nothing to be too excited about here on the day. As a matter of fact, if we take a look, we're still well below our 50 day moving average, but perhaps we can lift off of that price support here just a little bit more. And you can see we've got a little pre-market price action in here trying to pump us up. So if the bulls can find that inspiration, maybe we push up here and we test the low side of these uh, candles right in here, these group of candles to see if we can break through that. And if we can, then maybe we're back up here testing that big black candle um, and then perhaps the gap above to see if we can recover and maybe get up there and test that 50 day moving average. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then of course I would be watching this price support level here to potentially fail. And if that were to fail, you might want to note that there's not much provide support in this chart um, beyond that point. So if that were to fail, I'm gonna suggest we're very likely to come down into this region of the chart, which would be a little bit painful um, and uh, might raise some fear in the market. Um, if we take a look at our QQQ, that old QQQ also rallying up yesterday, did a pretty good job, but you'll notice we, that we didn't really improve much. As a matter of fact, we ended up closing almost about exactly at Friday's low in that rally. We ran up here and tested this resistance level in the chart that I have marked, you can see bounced up into there and then pulled back. So didn't really get much done yesterday. And if the bulls were to continue to find inspiration here this morning as they're trying to pump up here, then I would watch for this level right up here. Notice all of these uh, candles right in that area uh, that could provide a little bit of price resistance along with that resistance over here that I've got marked in the chart. If they can push on through that level, then maybe we start looking at climbing uh, the wall of worry here on this big black candle, see if we can come back up um, into there and uh, testing those levels. And of course, beyond that, we're, we're back up here. If the bears were to find inspiration for today, you can see we kind of, yesterday we made a new low here in the QQQ, but just ever so slightly, we broke that down just a little bit. And um, if the bears were to find inspiration, maybe a retest of yesterday's low. And if that were to fail, then probably down in that level of the chart. Let's take a look. Um, uh, technically here, you can see we're still below our 50 day moving average. Got a little work to do to get back up through there um, to see if we can find that energy or inspiration to pop through. We take a look at our IWM. Well, IWM had a pretty rough day as well yesterday, pushing on down, breaking down through its 200 day, taking out Friday's low, uh, testing some of these um, low areas in the chart. But you can see we're trying to pump up here in the pre-market, our normal, normal work that we've been doing, trying to pump it every morning. And as you can see in here, we don't really have a whole lot to, to be too excited about. We, we have a pretty big head and shoulders pattern here. And inside that, we have a possible little head and shoulders pattern in here to be dealing with. If the bulls can find inspiration, well, maybe we push up um, off of this level, push back up into here. We'll still be in a downturn, still be well below our 50 day moving average. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, I'm gonna start looking for this to potentially um, break these lows in here. And if that fails, then I'm gonna suggest we come down into this level of the chart in the OM. So keep a close eye on that. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX rallied yesterday, but um, since there was just no 
uh, price action to really speak of. The VIX popped and then pulled back with a little bit of fear dropping out of the market because we really weren't doing anything to be all that fearful of it. There was barely um, anything moving of consequence in the market. We have this downtrend here in the chart, so we haven't really broken out of that downtrend so you can still hang your if you're a bull you can still hang your hat on the fact that hey we don't have anything here that's fearful in the market it's still running around that 14 handle here on the vix if the bulls were to continue to find inspiration then look for that to continue to fade and try to push back down here retest these lows once again um, just remarkable how with all the things we have going on in the world today that we don't have any fear in this market pretty pretty amazing I, and I do think there's a bit of complacency here if the bulls were to or the bears were to get active then of course a break of this level up here could be significant but remember it doesn't get squirrely until we break through a downturn like that hold a higher low and then we start to see uh, that fear coming in if they continue to push let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 indicator boy i get a lot of questions about t2122 and and honestly it's really pretty pretty much a simple tool um it's a four week new high new low ratio so they take four week new high stocks and four week new low stocks and build a ratio out of it and as you can see it's plotted between 100 and 0 and I put on the 90 and 10 to just kind of give us a range um, here in the chart and I call this area down here the bullish reversal zone because when we're down here and I don't care how far back you take this when we're down here we find reason to bounce to the upside when we're up here we find reason to bounce down to the downside so looking um, in this chart we're we're kind of stuck um, and we've been stuck we haven't been able to get to the overbought area here of the market for some time we haven't been able to get to the oversold area of the market for some time we've just been wandering around in the dark stumbling around in the dark trying to find inspiration to go one way or another and not really finding much of it to speak of so if the bears were to continue to um, show some activity in here then of course we have that room to push down into here in the chart and if the bulls were to find inspiration we have plenty of room up here to push to see whether or not we can move on up in the chart um, I suspect we're going to see a lot more choppiness today that we're going to continue to be range bound here today as we wait for the FOMC. If we take a look at our T2108, now T2108, the good news here on T2108, yesterday didn't have any damage uh, created in it. In fact, we just kind of went flat. You can see we didn't break these lows in the chart. We held in there 32, 33% of the stocks above their 40-day uh, moving average. And that's what this is, percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. And just kind of hanging in and hanging out here um, we're gonna need some kind of inspiration to either break us down or break us higher um, and so far we just don't have a whole lot uh, for the market to be inspired by as we wait for the Fed um, obviously we've got considerable resistance above if we start moving up and we've got this support level if we start moving down if we take a look at our T2107, well, T2107 was a little bit less impressed yesterday. Pushed back just a little bit, 44.5% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. But the good news here as well is we didn't break this support level, didn't break it down. We were just so range-bound yesterday, just not much happened. Um, and then, of course, we have some resistance levels above to be thinking about in this chart if we can find that bullish inspiration look for uh, some of these levels to maybe break and start pushing on through to the upside you will want to kind of keep in mind there is that possibility of this head and shoulders pattern here forming up as well so uh, 44 and a half percent of the stocks is is nice that we're holding in there but not all that impressive and kind of hard to build a super super bullish case when we see that going on 
Let's take a look at T2101. Now here's where our real problem lies. T2101 continuing to decline. So what we're seeing is that breadth of the market really pulling back. There's not much interest here on the bullish side or the bearish side at the moment. And our breadth just continues to decline. Um, here in the market and you know unfortunately guys I think there is really a possibility that because we're in our blackout period and the institutions are just not going to be able to be buying up stocks um, the companies are not able to buy up stocks um, that's going to put us in a situation where we could continue to see that breath fade here and it is entirely possible that we could remain in a very tight choppy range all the way into next quarter's earnings reports. So um, just kind of consider the fact that we may be just in one of those really uh, boring periods of the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar's got a couple things that we want to be paying attention to on here. Um, whoops, let me, let me get the economic calendar here first. There we go. Um, we have one report that is notable this morning, um, housing starts and permits. Interestingly, the consensus is suggesting that we will see an increase in housing starts and a decrease in uh, permits. It kind of looked like to me on uh, that consensus report, we have no idea what's going to happen here. So let's just edge it up a little tiny bit on one and a little bit down on the other and hedge our bets here. Um, I think anything is possible in here in that chart. We've certainly seen um, um, those interest rates having a negative effect on housing and I cannot imagine it's not having um, a similar effect on the builder side of the community. Now, keeping in mind that um, as we look through the rest of the day, really the only thing we're gonna have is the bond auction. And of course you'll wanna keep in mind that the FOMC meeting starts today and we won't know anything until tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern when we get the FOMC and then of course the Fed press conference, which will likely provide us significant volatility tomorrow. We'll just see a lot of whipping around as we get that report and perhaps it could be good or bad. Um, I know there's tons of speculation. Um, uh, Fed fund futures say there's really hardly any chance of a you know, interest rate increase, but I would put my money down on the fact that Jerome Powell is going to come out and talk tough, suggesting there are more rate increases uh, possible and could even suggest that the target rate has moved up. So watch that closely. I, I think anything is possible. Remember, it's how the market reacts to it that matters. So keep that in mind. Um, if we take a look at our earnings calendar for today well our earnings calendar pretty boring again but we do have a few more notables to be paying attention to that could potentially uh, give us a little bit of um, of energy here in the market and most notably would be AZO um, AutoZone uh, will be reporting today keep an eye on that um, AZO is one of those, you know, big, big stocks that has that potential. It could move us pretty substantially. You will want to keep in mind this has been locked into quite a trade range here for some time. So perhaps it'll be this report that finally uh, makes that decision whether we're going to break higher or, or move lower here on AutoZone. But watch that one closely. Could be a market mover today. Um, EPOG um, is also on that list today. Um, keep an eye on that. Uh, building materials and of course building materials have been holding up pretty darn well. So watch that carefully here to see if we can break on higher here in EPO or if we happen to break some of these support levels and that little downtrend right in there to see whether or not we're going to break on down. Um, DAVA is on the list today. Not too much excitement here. We do have a bit of a W formation here 
where we've uh, tried to hold in here. We're trying to break through that resistance in the chart. So watch that carefully. Um, uh, the earnings report could be just that decision point that pops us higher or breaks us down from that resistance. And then we have steel case here today as well. Still case has been doing a really good job moving up in this chart, breaking through some resistance levels. But unfortunately, we also have this very odd looking head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up here. So maybe some decisions to be made here in steel case. We had this nice upside trend that we have, of course, lost creating that lower high. So that is a little bit of a problem here. And we'll just have to watch that closely. Um, as we move forward uh, with this earnings report. And that's it for the day on the notable list. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and also click that thumbs up, leave a brief comment and um, that that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I also want to remind everybody that we are running an open house um, in Right Way Options. So if you are interested in that, just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. You will be able to uh, go to the Right Way Options room. There is no password. You're all welcome. Feel free to come in, see what we do, ask some questions. Um, the market's been boring, so we're going to be doing some, some more training today. So please feel free to uh, stop on over. It, there is open access uh, for everyone. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market and just kind of expect no matter what you buy, if you go long or you s or go short in this market, tomorrow's news could whipsaw both of those positions uh, pretty dramatically. So be careful here and try not to over trade. I know it's it's difficult in a market like this. You're so bored you want to do something, but be kind of careful. I take keep an eye on this AT&T. Now AT&T has broken this downtrend. A nice little pattern in here where we held that trend push back up. This was my alert in the chart. Pushing through looking good. Now we're resting back here with this uncertainty in the market. But if this rests back and we find buyers stepping up in here, look for that next opportunity maybe in AT&T. Good dividend payer, good safety type trade to be potentially looking at. Um, um, as I mentioned yesterday, keep an eye on this KHC as well seeing a few of those defensive sector stocks trying to come around, show a little bit of bullishness here in the market. They've been really beat down and could be um, nice opportunities in here for uh, maybe some slow, longer, a little bit longer term type trades. Good dividend payers here, as you can see in the chart, putting in an inverted head and shoulders pattern, this nice little resting high in here. Look for that opportunity maybe that that could pop on through to the upside. I think that is worth keeping an eye on. Now Visa, Visa, a lot of volatility here came into Visa. I was looking for an upside break on this and man, just all of a sudden completely reversed um, in the chart. So trying to crawl back up here. Notice we've got downtrend uh, or that uptrend break in here to be watching and we're pushing back up into this resistance level of the chart. So now the question becomes can Visa push on through and then hold back up here again and show us that bullish pattern once again or is it possible that we push back up into this resistance find those bears and we start tipping over to the downside on Visa. So watch that closely here in Visa. This has that potential to go either direction. Um, as you guys know, I've talked about Rivian several times. It's tried a little bit, but we're so non-committal in this market on a direction that it's still struggling in this um, pattern in here, this choppy uh, consolidation pattern. But we're holding those higher lows, so watch that in there. We may eventually find enough 
um, energy in the market to push through to the upside. Um, take a look at anything in the um, uranium um, space, just continuing to rip to the upside. This was my um, alert here on that trade, popping through, just continuing to run. And you could look at stocks like um, UUUU, just tearing it up to the upside, um, breaking through resistance levels, just like they're not even there. Any rest or pullback in here, I think, sets up an opportunity. Now, keep in mind, it's it's getting kind of parabolic here. Well, not kind of, it's parabolic. And a rest or pullback, uh, maybe coming back to find that trend, could occur at any time. But keep an eye on that. URA is another just ripping uh, to the upside. Speaking of moving to the upside, we should be taking a look at some of these oil sector stocks. Halliburton continuing to stay very, very bullish. It's trying to test these all-time highs here and see whether or not it can push on through. Keep an eye on that as we continue to see pressure on that oil sector. Uh, Schlumberger also setting up in a bullish pattern, running up in a trend, resting after breaking through resistance. You can see we're trying to push through a um, uh, little high point here, but we're at all-time highs here in Slumberger to see whether or not we're going to even move on higher. And these, what I'm sh showing you guys here are all refiners that have been doing just extremely well here lately. Valero breaking through in a big steep rally, breaking through resistance up here, trying to catch um, uh, test to see whether we can break through these all-time highs here in Valero. Watch this for a little bit more consolidation possibly off of this trend, then look for that next opportunity maybe to the upside as we continue to see oil go up. Uh, our bond yields are not improving here uh, this morning, so keep in mind we still have lots of pressures here in the market. And it's interesting that we're seeing um, oil be so very, very strong with UUP or our dollar continuing to hold with such strength. Now we're getting a little tiny bit of weakness here this morning on, on the dollar, so watch that carefully. That might ease some of those pressures. So with that, everyone, I'm running this video a little bit too long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Wish you great results in your trading. And I will see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Or if you remember, you can come on over in the room. You can spend the whole day with us over there in the Right Way Options room. Have a great day. Wish you all the best. See you uh, right back here tomorrow morning.